Hi there, welcome to this video. We're going to be using the Racing Bet Data website uh, and exporting some random data from the website into Excel to show you how you can use that data to start analyzing back to lay or lay to back uh, profitability or trading angles. So we're going to use a random selection of data with no methodology behind it. So we're just going to apply uh, an odds range as a filter. So we selected Betfair odds where this SP was between 1.01 and 5. And I'm just going to select this year. I'm not going to fine tune it any more than that. So it's just a demonstration video. <clears throat> We're going to send that output to Excel. And as soon as that's downloaded, we'll open that uh, data up. Just opening now, here we go. So we've got the full data export from Excel. The two columns we're going to be focusing on here are AF and AG. AF shows the amount of ticks that a horse has dropped in running and AG shows the amount of ticks that the horse increased in running. I'm just going to centralize the data in these a little bit more just to make it a bit clearer and I'm going to hide those two because we're not using the percentage tick reduction. So you can see where we have a hyphen uh, is where a horse lost the race, didn't win the race, so it traded up to the maximum, up to or around the maximum, um, and those would qualify as a later back winner. And the same for the tick reduction, where we have these hyphens, is where the horse won the race. Um, so just to explain what this tick reduction is, to take the top horse, Master Debonair, the Betfair SP was 2.41 and it traded down to 1.75, and that equates to a 46 tick reduction in running so it dropped by 46 ticks in running and eventually lost the race so it, the ticks that increased by it went up to the maximum the horse below it sporting john uh, you can see traded down to the minimum 1.01 doesn't always mean the horses won that race but often you'll see well, not often but it does happen horses trade down to the minimum but don't actually win the race but in this instance you can see in column z it placed him first. So that horse won the race uh, and it traded out by 28 ticks in running. So you can see that SP on this horse was 2.66 and it actually went up to 3.55, which is equating to 28 ticks. What I'm gonna do here is do some simple formula, which will hopefully assist you in uh, looking at an angle to analyze the potential for back into lay or lay into back, which other way, we're going to do both. So I'm going to apply a bit of formula here. I'm going to say if this uh, column increased by five or more, and we're just going to freeze those headers and freeze that row so we can drag that. And we're going to apply where it's true. So where it did happen, we're going to apply a one and where it didn't, a zero. So binary logic. And by freezing those, we can just drag those across and down and they will self-populate. So you can see here where we have a zero, we know that this horse has already, uh, we've already looked at it, it's dropped by 46 ticks. So it met the criteria of 5, 10, 25, but it didn't meet 50. If we change that to 40, you'll see that that will change to a one. So that gives us a quick uh, uh, output to study which horses drop by how much. I and mean, you can put anything in the top here. I've just used these as a random example and we can do the same for later back so we're going to apply the same formula uh, but we're going to look at column G so where column G increased by or equal to five ticks and we're going to freeze that again the same way we did before freeze the row then freeze the column and we're going to apply a one and a zero and we can drag that across and drag it down. So you can see horses that lost the race, you would expect to see a one across the board. Uh, looking at the second example, we have a zero in the 50 ticks. So again, Sporting John that we've already looked at, we know it traded out by 28 ticks. So it met the criteria here. In fact, I'm just gonna put a bit of a divider in here to make it clearer. So it traded by up to 25, but it didn't trade to 50, okay? So we now have that simple output already in our uh, added to our, our raw data form. The next level to analyze this further is to, to use a pivot table. Now a pivot table is a simple way of handling a large data set and getting you some quick uh, output, quick uh, 
analytical output. So what we're going to do in this video is show you that Betfair SP down the left hand side is a row and we're going to look at the back to lay so we're going to select the five ticks and we're going to select it twice because one of those we're going to change to a sum. So what this is showing is that uh, there was one horse, the count that traded, start, sorry, that started at SP of 1.05 and one horse that traded down by five ticks. So in this instance, it would have won that race. If we look further down, we can find that uh, at 1.62, there was 11 occurrences of horses that started at 1.62 and 10 of those traded down by five ticks or more. So on one occasion, the horse did not trade down by uh, five ticks or more. Um, again, we're just going to apply some simple sum formula here just to give us a running total. And we're going to drag that over and apply a percentage. Now, I realize what I'm doing may be second nature to some people. It's like trying to teach your grand to suck, egg, suck eggs, and I don't want to be doing that equally. This will be very quick um, and uh, blowing a lot of people's minds. So you may need to watch this video five or six times before it starts sinking in. We click the crosshatch there and again it self populates all the way down and you can see here that up to odds of 1.27 you have a hundred percent of the time um, that the horse will trade by five ticks well has traded by five ticks doesn't mean in the future that's going to be the same but it gives you an indication uh, it's a small sample size as well 24 horses so 24 horses of odds of 1.27 sp or below uh, dropped by five ticks or more 24 times so 100 <clears> percent <throat> we can scroll further down and look at odds of even so you can see that uh, with odds of even which are two or below 323 times the horse would have traded down by five ticks or more out of 338 uh, occurrences 95.56 percent and we can go all the way to the bottom and see that the odds are up to five uh, 87.24 percent of the time now what we can do is apply, so what we want to know is, well, what does that mean? Does it create profit? Does it not? Wouldn't expect it to from what I've done because I've just selected a random sample of output using odds in a year. I've not fine tuned it any more than that. Um, I've not looked at specific horses, courses, distances, weights, jockeys, uh, you name it. So I'm sure you've got your own criteria that you want to use. This is merely showing you how you can use the data in its rawest form to start looking at it in a bit more in-depth uh, in depth way. I have this uh, simple green up tracker that I use um, and I can make this available to, to you as well. And what I'm going to show you is how to, to check the, uh, the output. So we can just select a random uh, odds here. So let's just put in 3.8. So odds of 3.8 into the uh, tracker. And this is back to lay, remember we're looking at first. And we want it to drop by five ticks. That's what we're looking at. So you can see here that if we were to stake a hundred pounds on a uh, backing a horse at three point eight, and looking to um, green out, so regardless of who wins the race, um, by five ticks, the profit would be six pound ninety, and that assumes you're on a two percent commission, which most people are now. So you can see here in the summary table, hundred pound returns a six pound ninety return after commission regardless of who wins the race what we need to do here is implement the win percentage at those odds so you can see it's 90.81 90.81 so we'd win 90.81 um, of the time and we'd lose 9.19 percent of the time which would equate to a, a, a an average of two pound 92 lost based on a hundred pound stake per race so you can see that is not a profitable system and I would not have expected it to be because I literally just pumped in some odds. Um, and we can look at the same for lay to back. So I'm going to do it the other way here and just pop in uh, lay to back uh, odds of 4.2 and we'll say a tick change of 8. So what I've done here is, and the liability is £50. So you can see that this, we need to stake £15.63 at those odds which would give us an overall liability of £50 <clears throat> and it would generate uh, an after commission profit of £2.45 per um, per successful trade. So we'd be looking to, to lay at 4.2 uh, to start with then back at 5. Okay, 
So let's look at it in reverse and do the analysis by grabbing a pivot table. So first of all, I need to change the odds here from five to, uh, sorry, the, the ticks here from five to eight, because that's what I've selected in there. And you can see that that will automatically self-populate. I've, I've put the, I've hard, co I've hard coded the formula to reference that cell. So by changing that cell, I don't have to change anything else. Uh, and then I can input a pivot table. I'm just gonna refresh that one. Insert pivot table. The reason I refreshed that is because that was previously at a five and it will now pull through as an eight. And we're gonna put the best Betfair SP odds down the side, same as we did before. And you'll be able to see that we have the eight in there now. So where we've got the 10, or it shows 102, it's in fact 10, two, 25, two, 52. But we've changed that to an eight, so we're gonna use that. Doing the same way, so we're gonna have a sum and a count. And I'm gonna steal that formula there. There's no hard coding reference to any cells. And again, click the cross hatch and that'll populate all the way down. So again, look at these examples, you can see it at odds of two. Uh, if we are laying at odds of two, uh, 274 times out of 338, the odds would increase by eight or more ticks in running, which would give an 81.07% of the time occurrence. So in the example sheet that I've used, I've put 4.2. So we're gonna look at what the percentage is for 4.2. And that is 89.01% of the time. Odds starting price of 4.2, the odds would go to five or more at some stage in running. Uh, I've forgotten already what that was, 89.01, 89.01. And again, you can see that over the, the course of time, that would generate an average loss in the red of £3.31 per race. Um, didn't expect either of those to be profitable because I'm purely using odds. There's no structure or uh, methodology behind any of these selection here. It'd be amazing if any of it would, in fact, it would be just luck if any of that came out as a profitable system using that size of data. So. This video's intention was to show you how you can use the data in its rawest form, uh, which we got from the output. You can add formula to it, you can add a pivot table, and you can start doing analysis. You need to apply the logic, uh, the systematic approach, and then you can use the, um, the formula and the way that I've shown you here to then test and see if it, if it holds true in the real world. What I've, what I've said I'll do is make this uh, spreadsheet available and I will, it's simple, pretty simple formula calculations in there, but I will make that available. And if you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much.